Welcome to the West Winds Breviary. We trust these short online services will inspire you and ennoble you, giving you hope and courage as you shadow God in the redemption of the world. Hey gang, thanks for joining us online today for church. We're all adopted, my brothers and my sisters, into God's household. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 11. Therefore, remember that at one time you Gentiles in the flesh, called the uncircumcision by what is called the circumcision, which is made in the flesh by hands, remember that you were at that time separated from Christ, alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now, in Christ Jesus, you who were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace, who has made us both one and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility by abolishing the law of commandments and ordinances that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two, so making peace. And he might reconcile us both to God in one body through the cross, thereby killing the hostility. And he came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access in one spirit to the Father. This is such a compelling piece of the Bible to remind us that in Christ we are made new as one new man, one new people. To be Christian is to find your identity first in Christ Jesus. We are the new ethnicity in Christ. Christ's church is the new black. He's what binds us all together over our nationality, over our ethnicity, over our peculiarities, over our peccadillos. It's Christ first, Christ as Lord of all, and in him we live and move and find our being. We're told here throughout Ephesians that the purpose of Jesus bringing us together is because he is building us, his people, into a spiritual home. We are like living stones. And so he's putting the Dave McDonald stone over here and the Ryan Sisk stone over there and, and the stone of you and the stone of your friends. And, we're, and then we're told later in, in, in Ephesians chapter 4, now once you're mature, you're not going to be mo moved around by all kinds of nonsense. Meaning what? Meaning God's got to be able to count on you as a foundation for his church. So knock off all your, your 
blathering online. Knock off all your silliness. Knock off all your hatred and your pettiness. Instead, be, be planted, be firm. Don't be tossed about by every stupid idea that comes along. Now, what's the, what's the point for all this? Well, honestly, I, I've been thinking a lot about what it means for you and I to be part of one human family serving God. And I realized that for a long time, I was, I was really uncomfortable with that family language. Um, it just seemed hokey to me. You know, calling somebody brother uh, just seemed a bit Ned Flanders-ish, you know, the character from The Simpsons on one side, just a bit, a bit cheesy. Um, and on the other hand, I was, I was always worried that, that people thought I might be posturing, trying to look holier than I really am. Um, you know, and, and I think at this point, nobody who knows me thinks I'm trying to look holier than I am. I'm, I'm God's sheepdog, not, not the shepherd, you know. But here's the thing is, I, I've grown more comfortable and my affection has also grown in calling you brother or sister. Whoever you are. Now, you listen. When you come around West Wednesday, when you hear us talk, when, when, when I call you on the phone or I text me, I say, hey, brother, how you doing? What's going on, sister? Um, and sometimes people will make funny things. They like, oh, Dave thinks he's like a, you know, a black DJ or something, or, uh, which is a really funny comment to me. Um, no, I just, I am increasingly, deliberately rooting my identity in Jesus Christ. That, that's who I am. I am your Christian brother. And sometimes those words are uncomfortable, but I encourage you also to get comfortable with the family language of the scripture, because you and I have been adopted and are now heirs and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. We, like the Gentiles here, we didn't used to have access to God. We were lost without God in the world, but we've been, the scripture says, grafted in. And, and so now that we're in, Let's act like it. Let's be unified so Christ can be glorified.
Today I want to thank Randy Satovia. He did all of the plans for the box seats so that when people came in we could build them and he made it super easy so that people like me could actually um, could build it. So thank you Randy, you put in so much work and I really appreciate you and I'm going to send you a $5 gift card to Starbucks. Do you understand what it means to still be you while first being God's? God has laid claim to your soul and everything else follows. Grace and peace, everybody. Thanks for being with us today for the West Winds Breviary.